Hello, my lovely Aries. How are you, loves? I hope everybody is well. Aries, welcome to this December reading of who is coming towards you, what is coming towards you, and what you need to know that is coming towards you in the month of December. Sun, Moon, Rising Signs, and Venus Signs for all of you. As you always know, this is a general reading, a general message. You might take what is absolutely resonating with you and leave what doesn't. Let's see here, my loves, who is coming towards you, what's coming towards you, and what else is here. Aries, let's look at overall energy and what are the strongest message for you at this time we have temperance energy sagittarian energy as the spirit says whatever comes to you this month of december the last month of this year you gotta be patient also, you got to need to balance things around you and in your life. It's very, very necessary. It's much needed. Temperance speaks about patience. Whatever comes to you, embrace with that energy of peace. Also, for some of you, somebody might come to reconcile. Reconciliation energy here for you, loves. And you may not see this person for over three years. But whatever he is here, whatever he needs to be patient, Spirit says, will work perfectly. If it's a person you're waiting to come back to reconcile with you and never worked before, now will work. If it's a past life person and you never yet met that person, it is here to work things with you and as well they are for the long term. Let's see here. Also, for some of you, there is a work situation here. Whatever work situation comes, Spirit says act with a sense of peace like don't overreact or it's like take it as is come but because there are hidden blessings over there something here starts to work but that depends on you the way you are conducting yourself let's see here we have an air sign gemini libra aquarius here King of Swords, Eight of Swords, Hierophant, Taurus Energy, Scorpion Energy, Tower, Sag Energy, Wheel of Fortune. There's something here coming this month. Could come even sooner as the time you see this video because we have the divine timing here. Jupiter here. And the timeline for for this energy is more like divine timing is now because the tower moment moments are now very loud very loud three of swords ten of cups moon and eight of wands Whatever is here, you loves, I do see Pisces, Taurus, Sag, Scorpio, Sagittarius twice, and an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's see here. There is a there is a message here coming from somebody. And you don't really know how to react, to be happy or to be not. 
but there's something here with the Wheel of Fortune comes around to you. And it's more like a surprise. And you don't really know, should I say something? Should I talk? What should I talk? How should I talk? Could be something in regards finances messages. But let's see here, what's the tower here for? Knight of Pentacles. There's an energy here comes very slow. With the Knight of Pentacles being the slowest knight in the deck. Comes very, very slow. Seven of Cups. And Knight of Swords. It's quite the opposite energies here. Eight of, Ace of Swords, clarity in regards to the situation here. It's like whatever truth, whatever clarity you're looking, it's coming. Earth energy, air energy here. But also, as the Spirit says, is is a month here when you you need to balance your finances here. Because I feel here for some of you, you may spend a little bit too much and later on you will not like that thing. So be, be very clear what you need to buy this month and what you don't need to buy this month. Also, I feel here there is, there is something here coming like a confrontation. And Spirit says, it's time the truth, truth to be put on the table. Three of Swords speak to me in here. Nine of Cups. Judgment. And also... Aries is a lesson for you to learn and not repeat again because that will hurt you over and over again. There's something here in the way you act and in the way you you say, talk to somebody. Here you are. You strongly my deal here this month with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I feel here, there's an energy here, act, act as it is, slow. Don't rush into things. And as well, whatever comes around to you, if you walked away from that, keep moving. Because if you welcome something here back, will not be really beneficial to you. Because the last card here at the bottom of the deck, it's you. That is on you. It's kind of you are required to take action. You are required the one to to walk away from this not the other person yeah it's a new journey because we do have cards of comeback and spirit says there's a lesson here did you learn that lesson or you did not and for some of you you do have two people here And Spirit says, if you are confused in regards to them, if you don't consider they are good for you for the long term, it's better to refuse the energy. It's like, look deep inside you. 
Is that what you want or you don't? That's why Spirit says that's need a balance here in your life. What works for me and what doesn't work for me? And to be patient, to not rush into anything here. Moon. King of Cups. And also, take care of your emotional state this month. Because you might feel like... What is all this about? Because there's something here clearly you, you might not know. And groundness will be so much needed. And as well, the decision here made will be for the long term. Will be for the long term. And one more message here, what I get here, as the Spirit says, whatever you do this month, don't feel like I am constricted and there are no other opportunity or better opportunity for me. Because there will be way better opportunities here. But if you need to make a choice here between two people I feel here you gotta choose you first thing first and what works for you not for other people as the spirit says whatever it is the choice is on your loves and be clear because for some of you it is coming into your life somebody could be an ex and could be a new person and is not that the person is not good for you or the people not good for you but as mean is is the right time for them are they the one who you're looking for and ask the universe for because the relationships comes the universe give you abundance but not be necessary what you need, what you deserve. All right, loves. Because I definitely see you here like, what should I choose? And the answer is choose yourself. All right, loves. So that's coming for you. A good month overall, but with some hidden things and a little confusion, which will come clear by the end. Also, for some of you, you might walk away completely from somebody Because I feel here there is something here, a lesson needs to be learned. Also, for those of you who come, who come somebody from the past, there is so much into that energy like start, stop, start, stop. And Spirit says, think about it. Okay? I see earth energy, 
Taurus Virgo Capricorn. I see Sag energy, Air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and of course, Water energy. But I feel here, as the Spirit says, as you see here, three kings and two knights. The movement will be start slow, start slow, start slow. And in regards to the king, king of wands, we've been seeing it, didn't appear again. And that is very strongly speaking about even comes something back or not or new. Are you truly passionate to have that? And as well, whatever decision you will make in regards to this individuals it's on you loves because i feel here you aries there's there's a lot of things coming forward but i feel here there is a a test from the universe in regards some sort of lesson also for those of you who are meeting a new person Take it slow, don't rush into. Know the person better, okay? Love a light, Aries, and of course, we'll see you next time. Namaste.